Why exactly are we back at an out? Well, it's been two years. It's the perfect time for a half-baked, hair-brained, haphazard, slipshod, slapdash sequel. <laughs> Compared to what? Have you seen the first one? Shot on a cell phone? In the director's backyard? Lawn mowers and weed whackers running in the background and two entire scenes with no video. All right, already, knock it off. Maybe this one will actually be good. <laughs> be hard to be worse. We're gonna make that princess pay for what happened last time. Couldn't we just, you know, send her an invoice on PayPal? Shh. They didn't pay for product placement, so no. Besides, it's not what I meant. I meant it proverbially. But didn't we reference Daniel in the last one? No, 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 you dummy. Figuratively. We're gonna make a fat. Let's check in with our spy on the surface. We've got a spy on the surface? Yeah, you remember Underling? Oh, yeah. I always wondered what happened to her. Yeah, I sent her down there about a year ago to spy on the happy couple. So, her name is Underling? Yeah. What, what kind of parents name their child Underling? Probably the same kind of person who names the main villain using autocomplete. Underling doesn't actually have any parents, though. Well, everybody's got parents. Well, of course, everyone has parents, but Underling doesn't know who her parents are. We adopted her when she was a baby from the Intergalactic Home for Contrived Plot Elements. Wait. She's my sister? She is. Adopted sister, anyway. I have no memory of having a sister. It's called a retcon, son. Short for retroactive continuity. Was saying the thing was true, even though it was never even hinted at in the previous movie. Sort of like a certain other sister in a certain other space movie sequel people might have seen. Oh! Just be glad she didn't French kiss you to make her boyfriend jealous. Oh! My Zog, she's just a kid! That would have been completely wrong! All the more reason. Hello, sir. Hello, sis. Sis? Oh, yeah, you're his adopted younger sister. We just retconned that in. Oh, okay. So, what's going on with the previous installment's chemistry-free romantic leads? Uh, you just missed them, sir. Er, dad? Er... Sir is fine. They left on their honeymoon just yesterday. They did. Yes, it was a lovely ceremony. Flowers, cake, everything. Any idea when they'll be back? I'm afraid not, sir. It's anyone's guess how long they might be gone. Well, this could be a really long movie. Or a really short one. <laughs> I was hoping we could get past the hour mark this time. Shut up, let me think. Oh no. What was that? Oh no, please no. Not again. I have to go, sir. Wait a minute. Let me see that thing that sneezed all over you. My Zog. Are there any more of them? Hundreds at least, sir. They all live in this forest, which unfortunately is the best place for me to hide out. I go through at least four changes of clothes a day, if I'm lucky. We're gonna need a bigger ship. I'm so bored. There's nothing to do ever since Nami and Matt left. I know. That's how they're gonna make us carry this movie. You mean we're gonna be the leads? That'd be my guess, especially since they had to make the screen wider so the title would fit. So why are we sitting here on board out of our minds? Because our part of the plot hasn't started yet. This scene is just here to remind the audience that we exist. Oh. You wanna go play in the board for us? Sure. I guess we'll be sitting here watching the grass grow.
it's probably not good. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you see if Sagal can help you? I'm right in the middle of a rather important experiment. Won't you go outside and play for a while? <sighs> no wonder. No use. We're gonna have to deal with this ourselves. I told you they were gonna make us carry this movie. What are we gonna do? We have to get in there. In there, as in the big ominous dome? Yes. Wait a minute, Orange, I'm not so sure this is such a good idea. We're inside. Uh, yeah, we just spent the last minute clarifying that in here meant in here. Well, now that we're in here, what's the plan? Well, to be completely honest, I hadn't thought quite that far ahead. How did you? Well, don't worry, we can just teleport back out. I bet we can. Uh, it's not letting me teleport us out. I won. Landing complete, we're ready to proceed, sir. Excellent. Prepare to deploy the drills. Yes, sir. Drills? That's right. I don't think I really know what's going on. It's very simple, son. To ensure the survival of those creatures down there for the delight of the paying public, it's important to keep them in their natural habitat. You think people will pay to see these creatures? Oh, you bet. I mean, not as much the second, third, or fifth time, but the first time and the fourth time? Whoa, look out! What about the sixth time? No idea. That one hadn't come out yet when this was written. Well, couldn't we just recreate their natural habitat wherever it is we're taking them? No. Too expensive. So we'll take their natural habitat with us. And exactly how are we going to do that? Very simple, son. First, we cover the entire forest with this giant dome. It's made of extra thick glass and electrostatically sealed so nothing can get out. Well, couldn't something get in? Well, if they have a teleporter, sure. Well, but then couldn't they just teleport back out? No. The glass is infused with Throbthorbian Yoglisk. It can only be teleported through one way. Throbthorbian? You're just making this up as you go. I'm not, but I'm pretty sure he is. What was that about drills? Here, put this on. Well, the electrostatic seal isn't strong enough to lift the whole forest by itself, so that's where the drills come in. There are three of them. They dig deep down into the surface, as far as they can go. Once they're as far down as they can go, they sprout out all these little fingers like the roots of a tree. They get a nice firm grip on the ground, and then up, up, and away we go with the forest and dwarves and toad below. That was rather poetic. Thanks. This is amazing. All these trees and leaves and I want to go exploring the virtual... Well, it is virtual reality, son. You've got to remember there's still a desk there. Yeah, I got it. So, what then? That's it. That's it? Yeah. yeah. And all of that is less expensive than just recreating the animal's natural habitat wherever we're taking them. Less expensive to film. Ah, oh, I see. 
But aren't we going in there? Nope. But why not? They're already watching a movie. It's too redundant. chance that uh, chance of what well anytime you remove such a large portion of the outer layer of any planet there's always a chance that you could um, blow up the planet blow up the planet yeah there's a chance uh, oh, how big of a chance uh, 90 ish 90 percent well that does leave about a 10 percent chance that it won't and that sounds like a pretty good chance to me how does that sound anything close to a good chance? Well, if you say it without saying the first part, it sort of does. Well, Dennis, we are the bad guys in this movie. Don't forget that. Everything's ready, sir. Excellent. won't be necessary. I'm switching sides. I don't care if I'm his adopted daughter. I'm done with this. Shh. Discontinue the history elements. Those are some pretty big words for a kid's movie. Maybe they'll go home and look them up. And not end up like certain Olympic sportscasters. I don't get the reference. Me either. None of us do. It's from the 90s. We weren't even born yet. Anyway, Emperor Jugamunter wants to take all those creatures. The Blorks? Oh, is that what they're called? Well, he wants to put them on display in some place called the Atten Burrow. He thinks if he can get the Jackson, people will pay a peck to see them every night. He even said something about people kneeling before them. Like, it could be a real gold bloom. He could buy himself a Ferraro. Don't you mean Ferrari? Sure. Don't forget Laura Dern, BD1, and the kids. I haven't. I just can't think of a good way to pun their names. Good, you can't? Well, he can't. <laughs> Whoa, was that like a fifth wall break or something? I guess when the fourth one's too flimsy, you need other options. Yeah, I guess. So, what does all of that have to do with the dome and those things? Well, Jugamonta figures it'll be too expensive to recreate the Blorg's natural habitat. So, we're going to have to take it with us. The dome keeps anything from getting out, and those legs are giant drills that will bore into the surface. Once they've gone as deep as they can go, they'll deploy smaller branches. And then the ship will take off, taking the whole forest with it. You're gonna take our entire forest? Well, that's the plan. Couldn't taking that much of the plant's outer layer cause problems? There's a slight chance that it might, uh, blow up. How slight? Uh, 90%. 90? Or so. Are we going to do this all movie long? Do what all movie long? Keep repeating what we said in the previous scene. Well, we have to pat it out somehow. If it's good enough for no one. Is there any way we can stop it? The repetition or the planet blowing up? The planet blowing up. At the base of each drill arm is a control panel. 
It's there to manually control the relief valves. Relief valves? Yeah, when you drill into a planet like that, all the soil, groundwater, subterranean vegetation, and so forth, down there all kind of mixes together and forms this sort of liquid sludge. Sounds gross. Well, it's perfectly harmless, but you probably wouldn't want to be covered in it. Well, we'll try to avoid that. Anyway, if you can figure out the controls, you should be able to shut down each of the drills. You have to deactivate all three of them. If even one of them goes down to the bedrock, it could still spell out certain disaster. How long do we have? Probably not that long. You should get going. Sinkle. Ooh. Have you seen the girls? I can't seem to find them anywhere. The girls? They were here about 15 minutes ago. They're going on and on about something the other. Yes, they came and saw me first. They were rather excited. Yeah, excited's the word. Uh, I figured it's just cabin fever because uh, not much to do since Nami and Matt left. Well, did you help them? Yes, I sent them outside to play. I figured that would burn off some of their energy. They don't seem to be anywhere, Zabel. Ooh, I know how to find out where they went. We just run the movie back. <laughs> Whoops, wrong way. Wow, would you look at the size of that thing? It looks like a salad bowl. Shh. That's probably not good. You can say that again. That's probably not good. That was right before they came to see us. Can you jump to what happened just right after? Okay. Yes. Wait a minute, Orange, I'm not so sure this is such a good idea. We're inside. Well, don't worry, we can just teleport back out. I bet we can. Uh, it's not letting me teleport us out. <gasps> They're trapped in there! Wait a minute. Wasn't this basically the same bit that they did in the movie Spaceballs? Spaceballs. You know, where they found out where the heroes were going by watching the instant cassette. Cassette? You know, the kind that movies were played on. On? Snap out of it! We have to go help those girls! Doesn't take controls. Let's see if we can stop it. Just remember what Underling said about the sludge. Hmm. Maybe this? Orange? Or maybe this? Oh, it's it's just confetti. That's not too bad. Maybe this. I know, this one. Okay, don't press that one again. Press that one again? Might as well try. No, don't! Hey, that worked! Ooh, sorry about that. Don't mention it. Did you try moving? Huh. I'll try that next time. Well, there's no problem building another transport tablet, but the problem is, once we transport in, there's no way to transport back out. Why not? Because the glass of the dome is infused with Thrubthurbian Yoglis, and that only allows transport one way. Unless you have a way of reversing the polarity on the flumberboozle. And if you remember, that's what Higgins did that blew up my last laboratory. Yeah, I remember. We had quite a falling out over that one. So there's just no way to do it? Well, we could, but it requires the use of a ventriculating demogulizer. Ventrig... Wait a minute. You're making this up as you go, aren't you? No, I'm not. It's him. <laughs> Well, I've never seen a ventriculating demogulizer, but I'm sure I got plans for one around here somewhere. 
Can I help you look? No, 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 no. Everything around here is carefully misplaced where I can find it. You'll throw off my whole filing system. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes, the ancient crystal of Fiob. Like Matt's talents as a magician, the Blorgs, and the love story between Matt and the princess, it wasn't really properly explored in the first movie. That crystal can build entire worlds from an unthinkably small amount of data and destroy them just as easily. They can move mountains or at least pallet swap them to make them into clouds. It can even allow people to play their favorite game shows from television at home. Oh, my sock. Yes, with that crystal, even a humble plumber can save a princess. Oh, dear. What do you mean, oh, dear? Well, I thought that was just a throwaway gag, so I threw it away. You did what? Now, remember the rule in these movies. There is no such thing as a throwaway gag. We recycle our gags, doggone it. Okay, okay, lesson learned. Huh. Don't you think it's funny that wherever we go in this forest, it's the same outcropping of trees? Hmm, I noticed that. Well, here goes nothing. Let's try this. I don't like where this is going. How about this one? Maybe this one? This one. Ha! Oh, I know. This one. That did it. Why didn't you move? Whoever wrote this has a sick mind. What? No cutaway this time? And then over here we'll have the zip lines. Zip lines? Sure, they've got them at the Ark Encounter. Sir, we may have some trouble. Two of the rills have stopped. We'll restart them. I'm afraid we can't, sir. They were stopped from the surface. What? Who's down there that could have stopped? Underling. I just wanted something to do because I was bored. So I get to spend the whole afternoon digging sludge out of my bra. Well, this is pretty easy. All we have to do is press the- Hold it! Hold it! You wait just a zog darn second there, sister. You stand over there. This time, I'm gonna push the button. Gonna... You did. What? It tastes like cotton candy. Hmm. So it does. But it's still probably not a good idea to be eating snot. Oh no. Water snot's actually good for you. It's high in protein. Do you like it too? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Would you like it if it were mixed with all that sludge though? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Reference. We've shut down the drills. Now what? Now, I think we'll all go upstairs for a nice little chat. See, I wanted to do this the nice way, the decent way, the humane way. Keep them in their natural habitat. 
somebody else here had some other ideas. What are you going to do with them? Gonna stick them in a giant shipping container, and we'll just take that with us. But it's cheaper die? too, less fuel. But won't they die? Some of them might. Most of them probably won't. Even if none of them survive, I can still make some money selling the skeletons to museums. Hey, I didn't want it to be like this, but uh, y'all didn't like my plan, so here we are. You were gonna blow up the planet. Hey, there was a 10% chance it wouldn't blow up. But you know, it's been a long day, and I've worked very hard. Right now, blowing up a planet sounds like just the thing to help me kick back and relax. Take him upstairs and let Dennis deal with him. I want to make sure we get every last blog on this planet in that container. Okay, now what? Well, now we have to find the girls. Of course, but how? I hadn't really thought of that. Dr. Schwarzkopf here is an expert in the torture of prisoners and all-around mad scientist. You bet that I am mad! You called me away from my vacation in sunny Western Supermare, which I was enjoying, to this Klitzkleine planet, which does not even have a swimming pool, and you want for me to tie up and torture dry Kleine Mädchen, which sounds all kinds of wrong considering that I am an adult man. But you'll do it, right? Oh, of course I will do it. I mean, the check cleared and vacations to Western Supermare don't exactly pay for themselves, you know. You, you're playing both parts. What? Us? You. Him! Same person! Ugh, oh, as if this movie wasn't self-indulgent enough already. Was ist denn ungefähr? I guess the madness is spreading. Actually, come to think of it, I'm feeling much better now. Didn't Mitchell and Webb do this joke? What joke? It's a joke of the same actor playing the two parts and pointing it out. You think that's a joke? Look at your spaceship. You think we can afford actors for these movies or something? Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Hey, wait a minute. Look here. Explore tracks. Yes, but you don't normally see so many together at one time. Something is wrong. Well, come on. Let's follow them. That will lead us somewhere. And now, my Lieben, we will subject you to torture through the use of the Kopf Kokar! Oh! Oh, it's not that bad, actually. Was? Yeah, actually, it feels kind of nice. Stop it! Are you sure this is supposed to be torture? Yeah, just give me a book and an IC and I'll be good to go for a couple hours. Was is lost, Mr. Blitten Machine? Wonder. Okay, reset. We change some connections around and try again. And moment. That's all well and good, Mr. Schwarzkopf. Dr. Schwarzkopf. Whatever. In spite of your advanced education, you apparently failed to notice that the knots you used to tie us up with weren't glitterproof. And mine just wasn't a very good knot. Didn't do very well in Boy Scouts, did you? Oh dear. Get him! What? What do you think, girls? A gallon of glitter down the throat? No, no. We need him to talk. Which of these controls do we operate to get out of the ship? Leave her be. Oh, I'm sure you want us to leave her be, but we have a planet to save here. I'm going to ask you nicely one more time. Which one of those controls gets us out of here? Leave her be. Come, come on, on in here. Come on in here. Ah, come on in Alexander's ragtime band. <laughs> He's a tough one, isn't he? <laughs> We already tried the full theme park version of It's a Small World. If that didn't break him, I can't think of what will. Leave her be! Leave her be! <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, you're not really helping us or yourself when you keep telling us to leave her be. We just want to know how to get out of here. Pull the lever marked B. Oh. All right, these ought to get the job done. These? What are these? They're bombs. Bombs? That's right. What are you going to do with them? Well, the drills made it part of the way into the surface of the planet. Uh, so we'll lower one of these down each of the shafts. After we lift off, set them off, they'll finish the job. You had this on board the whole time. That's right. You were always going to blow it up. There was never any 10% chance of you not blowing it up. Bad guys, Dennis. We're bad guys. We do bad things. Why is this so difficult for you? Sheesh, to think you're my son. teleport on top of the ship. We did. Then what's this? Uh, this is another ship on top of the one that's connected to the dome. Well, we need to get out of here. I think that's the control panel. Go ahead. Figure it out. Okay. Oh, Akhtung. I don't think we should mess with this. Good Is this your ship? Yeah, yeah, it is mine. Uh, which one of these controls will let us out of here? Pull the lever marked B. That's a rather long-winded way of saying that. Why didn't you just say lever B? Was ist denn nie gefallen? I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bull. I did not hit her. I did not. What are you talking about? Hmm? All this about you didn't hit her? Huh? Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, girls? Oh, good. We found them. We're trying to figure out what to do next. Almost like the original third act is going to be way too complicated and expensive to film, so the writer needed to come up with something that could be filmed in a couple hours in a church choir room serving as a makeshift soundstage. And a giant ball of sludge falls from the sky and lands on... I dare you. No one. I'll get you later. I've got an idea! Dennis. Truce! Truce! Uh, truce! I, I, I've decided I don't want to be a bad guy anymore! Why not? Look, I, I'm willing to kidnap a pair of princesses in order to force their sister to marry me. I'm also willing to enslave an entire planet and attack every other character with more than five lines of dialogue with a fleet of battleships. But I draw the line at needlessly blowing up an entire planet after removing all of a particular type of wildlife, which I'm sure is bad for the ecosystem. Well, if that's what being a bad guy is all about, I just don't want any of it. Oh. Well, then, welcome to the goodies. You said you had an idea. Oh. 
I've got something better than an idea. <laughs> Bombs! Jugamon was going to use these to blow up this planet. I say we use it to blow up the dome. But won't that end up with a bunch of glass falling all over the forest? Ah, ah, ah. This glass is infused with Throbthurbian Yoglisk, which will vaporize upon being damaged. Throbthurbian? You're making this up as you go, aren't you? No, but he is. We already did this joke! No, I'm just lucky I added the vowels to Throbthurbian. Anyway, what we're doing is we'll wedge these under the edge of the dome. We'll blow it up. The dome will be destroyed and the ship will be launched into space. At least no one has to crawl down the inside of the drill arms and get covered in sludge. Why would anyone have to do that? Trust me, I read the original draft of the scene. Well, that still sounds pretty complicated to film. Well, we could just cut till after we've already done it. Sludge incoming! Oh, please, no. Holy continuity. Whoever wrote this movie should die! Okay. Now I suppose we should all go and free the Blorgs. Come on, everybody, this way. Oh dear, it's locked. But I have the key. Yeah. Wait a minute, all of those creatures are in there? Oh yes, that's right. Oh boy. Yes, they're allergic to princesses. And underlings, apparently. No, no. The Blorgs are only allergic to princesses specifically. So if they're sneezing on you, that must mean... I'm a princess? That must be true. But of where, I don't know. I know where she's the princess of. You may recall... I mentioned one of your kind did unmentionable things to the princess of my home planet of Reto. That's R-E-H-T-O for whomever writes the subtitles on this one. What I neglected to mention was that our princess had a younger sister. When the fighting began, she was sent away to the intergalactic home for contrived plot elements. We fully intended to retrieve her once peace was achieved, but it was not to be. You are Princess Dorotechnia of the planet Red. It was most wonderful to see you. Wait, isn't Dorotechnia check for afterthought? Now we can return to our home planet where you are eagerly awaiting. Good. And you better have a shower I can use. Uh, well, I guess that means the movie's over. Before we go, I just want to show everyone that we can sing. How do you plan to do that? Come on in here, come on in here, Alexander's Ragtime Band. Come on in here, come on in here, it's the best band in the world. Just the bestest band.